Hey everybody! So I am back and here's another speed drawing for you all. I hope you don't get too tired of them, but you know, whatever. This is what I have, so deal with it. Just kidding. Um, okay, so this drawing is for a friend of mine. Um, his birthday was this past week and we actually had a surprise party for him on Sunday. And I was trying to come up with a present to get him. And I, so I decided to draw Rose from Steven Universe. Um, Steven Universe is his, like, he's obsessed with it. And he got me really into it. So she's also his favorite character. And I thought it would be perfect to make this drawing for him. Plus, it gives me the perfect video to make. So here we go. Um, I actually drew her a while ago. It, I guess it wasn't really that long ago. It was last year sometime. And I drew her in my own style. Kind of made her a little bit more realistic. But still cartoony-ish. And um, I did it with watercolor mostly that time. Plus a little bit of Copic marker. And this one, I have to say, I actually like a lot better. I've improved, of course. My coloring looks better. Um... I can put a picture of the last one I did at the end of this video because you guys are probably curious to see what it looks like if you haven't seen it on my Instagram yet. But this one is done mostly Copic, whereas the, the last one I did was done in mostly watercolor. I usually like mixing the art supplies together. Usually I try not to do Copic for the background just because it takes a lot of ink and watercolor is perfect for that. And then Copic is good for the drawing because it gives nice vibrant colors and they blend easily together. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do I want to say? Um, the hair was one of the most fun parts to draw on this, even though it took quite some time. She has so much hair and it's curly, which is the hardest hair type for me to draw at least. It's complicated, but... You know, it helps me get better at it, and it's also fun to do and add all the little highlights. So, you'll see me in this drawing work on the hair, and then go move on and do something else, and then come back to the hair, and then do something else, because I need a break. <laughs> I can't just focus on one thing, um, and especially something that detailed. Also, get yourself a white gel pen. They are the bomb. You can see I used it in the hair. I also use it to cover up my mistakes sometimes. I always use it in the eyes to add highlights. And it just makes everything pop. It brings everything together. It's so perfect. You definitely need one. The one I'm using right now is called Jelly Roll. Spelled G-E-L-L-Y Roll. Um... And it's my favorite so far, so, and it's tons of other people's favorite, they really like using it, so I would suggest you to get that. 
So I think I'm going to leave a list of all the colors I used in this drawing in the description of this video. Let me know what you guys think if you want me to continue doing that. I think it would be helpful because if you might be curious, I don't know. But I'm just going to do that for this video and may continue doing it. We'll see. And now for the background. I tried to make it look a little bit like the actual Steven Universe backgrounds. They kind of have a, um, a pattern feeling to them, like lines and little blocks and stuff. Kind of reminds me of like a video game world or something. So I tried to recreate that and I started out with just diagonal strokes as you can see here with the watercolors and added all types of colors. I chose green, for instance, because that is um, the complementary color to purple. And you guys know that I skip around all the time in my drawings, working on the face again, adding more contrast. I really try to bring a lot of contrast to my drawings. And even if I start out making, for example, even if I start out making the eyelashes on the eye, some different color than black. I usually always end up adding black because I want them to stand out and want to add the contrast to it. I also ended up using my Copic Multiliner a bit more than I originally intended. I always seem to start out a drawing thinking that I won't need it, um, but I always end up using it because it really does make the drawing look better and just kind of contains it. And yeah, so now we're back to the background. I added some more lines with my Copics to make it a bit more detailed. And then added these little square things, <laughs> square shapes that kind of also looks like the world they have in Steven Universe. And then I added the clouds because those really stand out to me also in their backgrounds. Honestly, I think the landscapes in Steven Universe are so pretty. They have such nice colors and they always blend together easily and they have shapes in the background and it's just so pretty. <laughs> so I tried to recreate that in my own way. And so up to the end of the drawing, I just keep adding more and more details. Like, I see I'm signing it right now, but I decided I needed some more stuff. I added stars, um, used the white gel pen a little bit more. Honestly, I'm never truly done with a drawing, but I eventually I have to find a stopping point and just say, okay, this is good enough. I'm just going to put it down. Otherwise, I will go on working on it forever. So I hope you all liked this video. If you watch Steven Universe, please let me know in the comments and I will love you forever. And um, just tell me what you think about the show and what you think about the drawing and give it a like. And also, I'm still accepting requests for future videos. Give me ideas because I may use one of yours. Thanks for watching.